cage having breakfast and we and Jason have just been running around like crazy trying to get everything together Hi. Jason's finally arrived <laughs> Beauty Flock are also busy trying to get ready we are about to set off because the meet starts at 12 we want to try and get there early to get a parking space we're just about to pack to go we have snack bag for the humans Jason's just going a lot of snack <laughs> No, no, I don't want to know it. No, no, no. And then, oh, frost straws. Our boys are ready to go. Two ladies at the front, because the ladies are best at directions as we know. <laughs> and we have the bird managers at the back because Quaffle and Lyra really like to destroy their cages as Quaffle is wonderfully demonstrating right now. Adam, chewing cage. <laughs> What's that? Vince and Jason are bird managers. Try and control the quaffle and the lyra. The quaffle, the quaffle and the lyra. <laughs> and if you're asking where my boys are, they're all the way at the back. Literally at the back. All the way at the back. Very, very good way. boys. Very, very good boys. <laughs> 30 minutes till destination. Let's go! We have just arrived at the location. Intentionally got here about 10 to 15 minutes early because we knew there wasn't going to be a lot of parking space, so we wanted to make sure there was a parking space. We have arrived early, and so we're now going to chill and wait for everyone else to turn up. Sophie with her Amazon's Parrot Palette are already here. They're in the car just behind us. Wait for everyone to turn up. Where do you no. <laughs> Oh, don't put that on. Here we go. Nim. Oh, you can see where he's gone. <laughs> now everyone's had the first big, first big fly, let's introduce you to the birds. We have Schnooky! Hi Schnook! Ryan! I'm trying very hard not to get into Rox's photo here. No, Wally! Like... Sorry. Hi Wally! Hi, hi Baba! Say hi! Hi Kiva! Kiva! Paco! Enzo! Enzo. Percy! Sana. Seagulls inbound. Yeah, I've already got Pippin. Look down. Hi, fellas. 
The big birds have all had their flies now. Why has had a really big fly as you saw. But the little birds are all feeling a bit nervous around the big birds. They are very much canopy dwellers. We are heading over to the trees. Mango and Quaffle can have a bit more of a fly. Oh, no, oh, no, look, look at those block that block. My brother's not. Myra. Hi, Redley. In bed. <laughs> Good job. Um. <laughs> Get the dog, bro. Get the dog. We're now in the tree section. This is like the main group of our extended flock. So there's ourselves. Nimble navigators with their two patties. And then fruity flock <laughs> with the little birds. Mango. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, it's head, uh, head literally. Oh, this literally. is one of the most important parts of free flight. One of the reasons we actually tell you, you need to get a free flight trainer because it's very important to know what kind of free flyers your parrots are. Some birds prefer big open spaces, <laughs> some birds prefer canopy, some birds prefer a mix of the two, which is why it's so important if you are considering free flight, make sure you actually get a free flight mentor because you have no idea what type of bird you might have. <laughs> Oh, Nimble Navigator is actually a perfect example because her birds are both completely different. Even though they're both Patagonian conures, one prefers the open skies, the other one prefers to be near trees. So it varies. It varies with every bird. Please, if you are considering free flying and getting involved in one of these amazing adventures, nope, 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 nope. please consider getting a free flight mentor. I love this, I find a rig bump. There's one of the other birds. Wonder who that is. It looks like one of them, of course. Yo, why do you have a dad bot now? Good boy! Yeah. You see him squash and stretch, it's really funny. Good boy! Right now, all the birds are in trees. Mango is up there. Lyra and Quaffle are over in this tree somewhere. You can actually hear Quaffle, she's doing her horny honk. Lyra is actually... There. Hiding in the tree. Quaffle, on the other hand, we have no idea where she is. We can hear her, we just can't see her. She is invisible. There's our quaffle. Morning honking in the tree. So the birds are finally down. That took two hours. Two hours they were sat in those goddamn trees for people to come down. Quaffle was very particular. She didn't want to fly down. She had to climb down through the branches. Time to pack away and head back for food and fun at Soaring Wings Walk. No tea mango. You 
<laughs> I'm gonna have to find. Oh no! no, no, no. <laughs> 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 This is so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Use this. Yeah, this is not yours. <laughs> Well, I did. I mean, he was only, he was only 12, though.